Hey guys, I'm Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up? It's great to see you. So just a few things I wanted to talk about before we get into the readings uh, for the first half of May. Um, these are general readings, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, I'm telling the story as I see it, and I'm reading for a bunch of different people. So if something is resonating with you, but I'm not exactly telling the story as it specifically goes for your situation, just take the elements that you feel resonate and place them where you feel that they go, okay? And if something, if you hear something and it doesn't resonate with you, please don't try and make it fit. Just let it go and you know continue rolling on with the story until you reach another point where th that resonates with you and place that where it goes for you. Yes, um, I am available for private readings. Uh, if you would like to get a reading with me, my email address and the description of the readings that I offer currently are found in the description box below. Um, Please go ahead and email me and you know we can get something set up. I am very, very happy to help you guys out in this way and help you get clarity on whatever situations you are facing in your life. Um, unfortunately, I will not be taking any more questions from Instant Go at this time. Um, Instant Go is a great service. If you have a quick question you want to ask, I highly recommend you do so through Instant Go. And that Instant Go is an iPhone app. But for me, I don't have an iPhone. I have an iPad, but I don't travel with that. Um, and my schedule is so busy and crazy that I don't always have time or even remember, to, to be quite honest, to check Instant Go. And so a lot of those, a few people have sent me questions and I completely miss it. And by the time I actually do get to it, the question's been deleted. And if that is you, I highly apologize. Instant Go just is not um, the best avenue for me at this time. So if you would like to get a reading with me, I encourage you to email me and we will set something up that way. Um, a bit of good news, I will be reading um, in person at Om Shanti Bookstore in the East Village of Manhattan. So if you guys are in the five boroughs or you are visiting, um, New York City, I encourage you guys to come see me. Yay! We can meet in person and have a little chat and whatnot. Um, have our a, a conversation, yeah? Uh, the, even, I'm sorry, the uh, website for Om Shanti can be found in the description box below as well. Just go to the website and um, you can, you know, get the address and all that. I will be there every Monday from 11 to 5. I will not be there uh, Monday, May 7th because May 6th is my birthday and I'm gonna have some fun, right? So uh, thank you to Rakesh for <laughs> giving me the day off because I, I, I'm probably gonna need it. Just throwing it out there. Um, let's see, I believe that's it. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get to the reading. Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. Uh, this is for the first half of May, 1st through the 15th, yeah? So, let's get into it. Okay, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Sagittarius for this time period of May 1st to the 15th. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Sagi, Sag, Sagimitas, Sagimitas. <laughs> there you are. How are you guys? Welcome. <sighs> Sagittarius. I like that, Sagimitas. I'm gonna use that for now. I don't even know where that came from, but thanks for whoever sent it. <laughs> Sagittarius. Okay, one more shuffle for you, Sagittarius, and then we are getting into it, Gail. Wow. You guys are feeling good right now. I like this. I'm liking it. Or at least I'm just picking up on your general uh, pizzazz, yeah? All right, Sagittarius, what do we have for you? Overall energy. Oops. <laughs> Temperance in reverse. So, okay, a little bit of imbalance, um, which I guess is a little bit too expected for Sagittarius to a certain extent. Um, coming into greater balance, though, that's what's happening for you right now. 
There is a bit of resistance, a little bit of blockage, but I'm, I don't always read reversals as blockage or resistance. Sometimes it means, to me, it just means that you're in the middle of this cycle. It's, it's in the process of happening. Um, so that's why sometimes it comes out as reverse, and that's what I'm picking up here. The Eight of Wands in reverse. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And also the Knight of Pentacles, or in this deck it's labeled, it's known as the Prince of Pentacles. So here's what I'm picking up so far. Um, you're having trouble moving forward in some way. There is a blockage between communication um, or, well, but also with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, you're, you're coming out of some sort of procrastination. Um, you have been in a period where you were you were <clears throat> uh, analyzing the fruits of your labor, but I feel, I'm hearing you were over analyzing, and that's why there was a period of procrastination. And now there is some movement moving forward, but it's slow and methodical movement. Okay, it's not really moving too quickly. Um, what I'm getting with the Eight of Wands in reverse is like a refusal to communicate any longer in some way. What I'm really picking up on for most of you is that the communication between you and your higher self has come to an end and now it's time to put the action into place. Put the blueprint into action. Yeah, that's not so bad, Sag. It's not so bad. Okay, moving on. Let's get into your storyline here. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Uh, okay, I'm hearing overindulgence with that, but we also have the Two of Cups. Um, <clears throat> so, the Nine of Cups in reverse is saying is speaking to overindulgence. Yes, um, it has to do a little bit with a soulmate relationship. Um, I feel like you feel all is lost. Um, this could be a this could be what this lack of communication is coming through for me. Like. I almost feel like someone got cut off and um, and you, so it might be you, Sagittarius, or maybe you cut somebody off and whoever got cut off has been drowning their sorrows <laughs> in relation to this. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I, I don't really know what I want to say moving forward, so I'm just going to pull out the next cards and just continue. We've got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse with uh, the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Mm. False realities. Um, someone was presenting themselves as an independent adult <laughs> when they were really just a kid. Eee, when they were really just a page. Um, yeah, that's a bit deceptive there. Um, this imbalance in temperance is... Oh, goodness. I'm having a hard time. I'm going to be honest with you, Saj. I'm having a hard time pulling out these messages here. It's kind of all over the place. There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of havoc. It's like, what's really going on? I feel like there's there was a major breakdown in communication between you and someone else, a soulmate. Um... And it's really thrown you off balance. I feel like maybe you procrastinated too much. Somebody procrastinated too much. Didn't send the messages when they needed to. Didn't take the action when they needed to. But then, and then someone got cut off. But then you also have, now you have the Knight of Pentacles here, where now that they've been cut off, oh, now you want to do the work. I'm like, it really took that much? It really took that much for you to finally agree to doing the work. Be, uh, now understand, all may not be lost, but damn, that's frustrating. <laughs> and so that's why I'm picking up that someone presented themselves as an independent, strong person with their own life, their own goals, their own aspirations and whatever, but they really were just a page of pentacles. Okay, false advertising is what I'm hearing. Next, we have, wow, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So there was an opportunity that came about that did not happen because someone wasn't being honest about who they are. 
Yeah. Three of Wands, though, and that's upright. All is not lost. Okay. Um, this served to help move things along so that the ship can come in. So if you feel that you lost an opportunity, you lost that opportunity because it was not a good opportunity to begin with. But that loss of the opportunity is facilitating, allowing your ship, your real opportunity, your true ships to come in because this false whatever was taking up space. And now that that's been removed, now there's space for the truth to come in, for the real, the real manifestation to come forward. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse with, oof, death in reverse. Um, okay. The Cups, the, the Ace of Cups, the, 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 The emotional start. Now, the Ace of Cups is also relating to the Ace of Pentacles, okay? The, the, there was an Ace of Cups. There was an emotional opportunity that could have led to a physical manifestation, but that didn't happen. And that didn't happen because there was resistance to death of some sort. There was, there was resistance to some sort of change or transformation. And in, in, from what I've been getting from the rest of the cards here... Um, that change, whatever is represented by death, was forced because eventually someone was someone pulled out, someone pulled back and was like, no, I'm not doing this. And so that's where I'm getting the energy of, damn, it took me pulling out of the situation and cutting you off for you to, to get the message. Like, it's not like, in some cases, some of you are saying, like, it's not like I hate you. It's not like I don't ever want to try this again. But goddamn, that's frustrating. Like, why does it have to, why do I have to push you so hard, go to such extreme measures for you to just step up? Now, this could be you, Sagittarius, that's saying this, or someone could be saying this to you, Sag. Moving forward. King of Pentacles. Okay, that's not so bad. With hmm, the Chariot in reverse. So um, someone is someone is showing up as a King of Pentacles now. I feel like it's you. This is talking about the person that cut the other person off. They were standing in their power in their knowledge, in their truth about themselves, and as the master of their domain. And it got to a point where they saw too many, they saw one too many red flags, and they said, turn this ship around. It's very much the moment where um, you've got the mother and the father in the front seat, dad's driving, and the kids are in the back arguing. And... Dad is like, don't make me turn this car around. Don't make me turn this car. Oh, let's go. We're going home. That's exactly what this is right here. And to be honest, that is a good thing. Because someone needed to be shown that whatever they were doing was not acceptable. So fine. Fine. You want to push me to the point where you have to be grounded now? Good. You're grounded for a month. <laughs> Moving forward, we have the fool in reverse. Foolish activities. Not having your feet on the ground. With, ah, yes, when it comes to love. The princess or the page of cups. And I'm picking up manipulation here. I'm picking up whoever this person is that got cut off um, was being emotionally manipulative and was acting in foolish ways that they knew were it was not acceptable to get to begin with regardless of whether or not the person who cut them off made it clear to them that before they cut them off that these things weren't acceptable they knew on some level they knew but with the yeah but yeah but they were playing a game cuz the princess of cups is right under the princess of pentacles and if you remember these are both pages excuse me and if you remember, when we were talking about the princess or the page of pentacles and the knight of pentacles both being in reverse, someone was presenting themselves as one thing when they really weren't. And here, 
with the fool in reverse and the page or princess of cups in reverse, we're talking about on a on an energetic level, on a soul level, they knew, they knew they were being foolish. They knew that they were acting in ways that were manipulative. Yet they did it anyway. Boo. <laughs> Moving forward, we have Five of Swords in reverse, and this is excellent. But see, this is talking to either you, Sag, or the other person. This is talking, this is speaking on behalf of the person that cut them off. Cut whoever off, okay? They, I'm, I am not fighting this. This is a lose, lose situation. It's a lose situ losing situation for me because I'm being manipulated and it's a losing situation for you because you're acting from a place of low vibration and ego shit. Ultimately, everybody's gonna lose there. And whoever cut that person off was like, I'm not playing this game anymore. I'm not playing this game anymore, Sag. This is you. The Knight of Wands. Um, it could be you. Because we got, it could also be, you also could be the person that was cut off. Okay. But take, take whatever resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, but whoever cut off, whoever did the cutting off came from a place of spiritual knowledge. Um, the light bulb went off in their head and the spiritual warrior in them came out and said, this will not do. This will not do. Finally for you, Sagittarius, Queen of Pentacles. We've got counterparts. We've got counterparts. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles with Six of Cups. Very interesting. This combination came out in the last, was it the last one? The last time the Queen of Pentacles came out, I believe, yeah, it came out with the Six of Cups. That was for Scorpio. Yep, and I just did Scorpio. So, Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Soulmate relationship. All is not lost here. Okay? Whoever cut you off, the person, the, I'm speaking to the person who, who cut somebody else off, did so from a masculine point of view, understanding that as the master of the of their domain, they could not have this in their in their existence. So they turned the car around. Okay, Dad said, "I'm turning this car around, and y'all are grounded." Mom is stepping in and saying, "Well, listen, kids, your father loves you. Okay, but." You need to learn a lesson here. If something is unacceptable, something is unacceptable and you need to change your reactions. There is a deep soulmate connection here. Okay. So the queen of pentacles is saying all is not lost, but I need you to step up. And, the, and understand the queen of pentacles is just as stern and firm as the king of pentacles. She just may be a little more compassionate about it. But she's not going to let you off easy. Ever. But that's not coming from a place of um, malice. No. Quite the contrary. That comes from a place of love. And knowing that you are capable of more than you allow yourself to believe. She sees it in you. She wants that to flourish. She wants to bring it out in you. But you gotta listen, and you gotta do the work yourself, cause you know she ain't doing it for you. Mm -mm, honey, that is not my responsibility. I will be here all you want to help and guide you, but I am not doing your work for you. Ooh, Lord Sagittarius, that was heavy. Mm -mm -mm. Fifteen fifty-five on the counter. There are a lot of changes happening. But there it is, Sag. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for joining me. Much, much love to you all. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the second half of May. Yeah? Take care, guys. Bye.